Hello, my name is Steve Martin. I'm with Love First People here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And this is my second message of the series we're entitling Arms of Love. The Lord gave me that word several years ago when I was writing, and it was my fifth book, actually called Arms of Love, where he would uh, just share stories through me, and they would encourage people, and thus we have this series. <laughs> it's amazing. When I was asking the Lord what what I should share today, the word came grace. On my way home from work last night, I was asking the Holy Spirit, what, what can I share? What is on your heart? And the word grace came. This morning when I woke up, the word grace. But he added something to that. He said, we have more grace than what we know. And that's so true. This, <laughs> this morning, in my attempts to uh, record this, this is my second camera because the first one ran out of battery. So I replaced it with this camera. And this is my third battery, which only lasts about five or six minutes. So hopefully this will be recorded and passed on to you. That's what grace is about. Lord's unmerited favor to help us do the job that he's called us to do. I would do an accounting as my job currently until October 31st, yay. And I'll have more time to give to the ministry. I turned 63 in November, Thanksgiving Day, yay. And that will I'll free up 55 hours a week, I tell Lori, my, wife, my good wife, that I'll have to, to write more books, to record more videos, um, to travel. We have some plans coming up next year. We're looking forward to them, visiting our friends in other countries. And it's all because of the Lord, because of His grace working in our lives, and because of the grace that He wants to work through you for your situations. There are times, daily times, I know, that we'll, we'll be a, at a place and we'll ask, Lord, why am I here? What am I doing? Where is this going? And as we seek the Holy Spirit, as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, we'll realize the grace that he makes possible for us. We'll understand that the Holy Spirit is so much calling after us, calling us to walk and to do that in courage, in faith, in love that we've been called to do. You have gifts, you have those talents, you have that ability residing in you that the Holy Spirit wants to continue to work and build and develop. And it's by the grace of the Lord that that will happen. Trust me, it will happen. I look over the past years and those years I worked with ministries and for those of you who desire to do a full-time, full as they say, full-time ministry work, it's not always greener on the other side. There are situations that I literally sat at my desk, put my head down, and said, Lord, <laughs> when is this going to end? I felt so alone. I felt so unable to do that, which he had called me to do. But it ended. I had other opportunities to move on. It was the grace of the Lord working in my life. So today, I want you to be aware that you have more working for you. You have more grace coming your way than you, what you may realize. Trust in the living God of Israel. Believe that who He is will enable you to be who you were created to be. People need you today. There's ones out there who are looking to you. You may not even be aware of it. They are watching you. They are hoping for a little spark of light to come into their darkness. And so as the Holy Spirit works through your life, as His love works in your heart, be that there for them. Reach out an arm for them. Use the grace that the Lord gives you and touch their hearts. When I walk into the office this morning, I specifically go to my boss's 
room. Pray over it. She needs the Lord. She needs Jesus. And there are different things working in her life that say, Lord, you brought me here for her. For That's one of the main reasons I'm on this job is for her, that she might see the light of the Lord. And so I call upon the Lord for his grace. And today I ask you to do the same. Before you go to that job, before you pick up the kids, the grandkids, before you have an opportunity to... Uh, to step into the world and do your thing. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Yeshua. Ask Him. Ask Him for more grace to work in your life. And He'll do it. He will do it. That's a promise. I hope to hear, see you next week. Check out our blog, loveforhispeople.blogspot.com You'll see many messages up there that I post from news articles, from other sources. My message now, think on this. I come out weekly with one. I know it encourages people. That's why I write them. So thank you. God bless you. And trust me, His grace is abundant for you today. I love you. Bye.